Now let's implement the uh, follow and unfollow any user logic. So now it's a little bit difficult, but not much. Have a patience. I will do my best to explain you, right? Okay. So first of all, we need to go to our models, our user model, and here we will be adding. First of all, let's go to this post and let's copy this. Control C and Control V. Okay. Now in here we will add two more fields. F O W L O W E R. One is follower, right? Uh, followers I guess yeah followers and this will be an array in each individual uh, item in the array will be a uh, ID of the user right okay so here I need to write type and object object ID and that will refer to user model right user model is this model itself right okay and we will create I can duplicate this I will put a comma in here and here I can write following F O W L O W I N G following like so make sure this spelling is correct followers and following okay beautiful perfect okay so now let's uh, make a route for that in this user okay so this will be again an update request as we did with our likes right so initially our array will be empty right initially this will be an empty array so we will be pushing some stuff in this array right we will be pushing the id of the user in, in those array okay so let's create let's create a router or ut router dot put this will be update request so i am using a put in here you client client will be making a request to follow Right, and then we can add a callback. Okay, so now I can make use of user dot find by ID and update. Okay, now I need to make uh, make you understand the logic first, right? Okay, so here I have made this image, right? Now let's assume that Ramesh wants to follow this Suresh, right? Initially, they both will have zero followers and zero following, zero followers and zero following. If Ramesh follows this user now we need to do two things first is we need to increment this followers right we need to add the this Ramesh in this followers array right so we need to make change this followers field of this Suresh and we need to change this following field of this Ramesh so two things are happening in here when one user follow other user right so two things are happening right so in this followers array of Suresh we need to add this Ramesh ID and this following array of Ramesh, I need to add Suresh ID. So the, so the two things are happening in here, right? So let's now finally write the code for that, okay? So I will find by ID and update, right? So request dot, I will be receiving body dot follow ID, F O W L O, F O W L O follow ID from, from the front end, right? And I will update this. So basically, First, I am updating. Uh, I am updating this man. Let's assume that I am Ramesh. That first of all, I am receiving the ID of Suresh, right? Okay. Let's assume this is the ID of Suresh, right? This is the ID of Suresh, and this is the ID of and Ramesh is the logged in user. Let's assume that this is a scenario. So we are receiving the ID of this Suresh from the client in here, and we are updating some stuff right we are updating some stuff so here i can write oh, i can pass in second object and i can use this dollar push in order to push the id in our array and which array we want to push so we want to push that in followers f o w l o w e r s again let's have a look on the picture we are pushing in the followers array of the suresh right so i'll be pushing in the followers what we want to push so we want to push request dot user dot underscore id and and this is the id of the logged in user right this is the id of the logged in user right so here we can make this required login this make we can make this a protected resource now we can access the current id of the user who is logged in because we have used we have made this a protected resource and we are verifying the token let me show you that we are verifying the token and we are retrieving the data from the token and we are attaching all the details in this request.user so we can access the id of the user who is logged in in this right request.user okay yep so we are pushing uh in this 
followers array of the Suresh, right? The ID of the user who is logged in. Let's we are assuming that Ramesh is a logged in user, right? Okay. And in here I can pass a second option that is new true to return a newest updated records as the MongoDB will return as an old record. Okay. Yep. Now uh, in here I can uh, not in here uh, after this object ends I can put a comma or maybe I can write on a this on a new line. Now in a second option in here yeah I can add a callback yes okay so I can add error so we will receive error and and result res unit result okay I need to close this as well like so oh why we have this two brackets this is a second option and this is the ending for this yeah everything is correct now okay so in this callback if there is an error right then we can return response with status of 4 to 2 and dot json with the error of error which whatever error will be okay if everything goes perfect then now res we should write result in here we don't have to do something with this result we can leave this as it is now we want to update this this following of the logged in user right okay so again if everything goes correct then again we can use this user model and then i can find by id and update now this time i want to update this request dot user which is the logged in user underscore id and and i want to again push right in, and i want to push in the following array let's have a look in this following area and this time i want to push it in the following array f o w l o w n g following array and i want to push the id and i will be receiving that id from the client side and i uh, with the name of follow id follow id right yeah this one and we will be receiving this while making a update request right okay and again i need to pass a second option that is new not in here in here not in here in here why i am not getting suggestion in here i think i forgot the uh, oh i need to uh, pass this as a second option I can put this in here right uh, yeah. and now I can receive here new yeah new and true okay now again I will receive a callback right and we don't have to do anything with the callback so I will not write the callback okay I'll be uh, giving you this all the code in maybe in my github you can find the link to that in description right if you have made a typo then you can verify the code or you can copy this code okay so if everything is done then we can first we need to populate some stuff i guess yeah p o p u l a t or no i can leave it as it is we will be getting the user id in that array okay now i can call this then right in this then we will get result r e s u l t result right and we can response uh, res dot json right with the result like so and yeah I can add a catch block maybe 
catch block if there is error then we can rt return response with status 422 dot json with error of error whatever error will be oh i need to write here json okay so i think everything is fine in here right so in now we can test this oh uh, uh let's make a route for unfollow as well right okay so unfollow will be almost similar so i can what i can do i can select this and i can press alt shift down key to duplicate this and here i can write unfollow right now from the front end we will be receiving unfollow id and unfollow id now instead of push here i can write pull to remove the id of the user from the array right pull right yeah so this will be a simple logic so now it's time to test this okay or maybe i think we should do that in the next video because this video has become a very long you can find this code in the maybe in the description or maybe uh, somewhere right wherever you are watching there will be a link right to navigate to the course maybe if you have made some typo in here you can uh, for you can match that with my code right it is possible it is very easy to make typo in here right okay with this ending and this closing tags it is very easy to make the type okay so i'll be uh, seeing you guys in the next video bye bye